as a developer we all have been writing code in our day to day life and writing code is not the only responsibility of a developer but writing a good code is hello everyone welcome back to my channel i am nisha singla and in today's session we are going to talk about what are pure functions in javascript and this question is very important if you are preparing for any javascript interview you can also check out my other videos that i have created on javascript interview you can find out the link of all those video in the description so now without any further ado let's get started in the daily coding session you must be writing function that takes in some input and returns some output based on certain condition right this is the basic fundamental that everyone does but while writing function we should take care of certain conditions and what are those conditions we need to make sure that the functions are predictable it produce a predictable output for the same input readable anyone reading the function as a stand alone unit can understand its purpose completely reusable can reuse the function at multiple places of the source code without changing its and its scholar behavior and the last important point is testable right your function should be written in such a way that it can be tested easily as a independent unit now all these points that i have discussed like your function should have these all are the characteristic of pure functions now a pure function has all of the above characteristics it will always produce the same output for the same input and it is reusable piece of code let me show you one example of pure function suppose i am creating one function of greeting okay and it takes one parameter of name and here i will return hey and i will print this name now i can call this function and i can pass value to this one so when you run this code you will get output hey nisha so here we can see that this function is always going to return the same output for the same input no matter what happens because it doesn't have any outside dependency that will make its output different fine because i can call this function as many time as i want so every time you are going to get the same result now let me show you one more example i will just comment this one okay so now let me show you one more example suppose i am creating one variable here and giving it a name of message and here maybe i am saying good morning so now if i do something like this and now when you run this code you will notice you will get good morning nisha so here we can see that this function almost looks same as our previous function but here is a catch the output of this function is not going to be same for the same input at least we can guarantee this claim right because this function has a dependency and that dependency is this message variable imagine if we have changed the value of this variable from good morning to hello maybe then what you will see you will get a different output so now maybe i do something like this message equals to i said maybe good evening so now when you call this function again what output you will expect okay i need to give it a let because const cannot reinitialize right so i need to define it with let keyword now and let's see now so here you can see first i am getting good morning nisha and then i am saying good evening nisha so i am calling this function with the same input but now i am getting different different output so here this function is not a pure function because pure function should always give you the same output whenever you pass the same input so i am passing the same input for both call but i am getting different output because my function has a dependency on this message variable which is not a part of this function this is outside of this function which can be changed so this function has a side defect so here we can see the side defect of depending on an outer state value that may change without the function being aware of it so any operation that is not directly related to the final output of a function is called side defect okay so you will say fine if i don't do this one and maybe i'll do something like this
So now can you guess the output? What output you will get for line 9 and line 12? If you are saying hello Nisha, then you might write. Fine. So now you are getting the result same. Hello Nisha and hello Nisha for both. So it is predictable, right? And it always written the same output for the same input. But still, this is not a pure function. Because my function is modifying the global variable. So doesn't matter you are getting the same result, but still there are some rules that you have to remember that there is a set of things that a pure function cannot do. The first point is a pure, pure function cannot modify a global variable. So here somehow I'm modifying my global variable. So this is not a pure function. A pure function should not have its output dependent on an external value or a global variable. So here the earlier example that I have given had a dependency on the outer variable. So that is also not a pure function. A pure function cannot manipulate the DOM. If your function is doing some DOM manipulation because you are mutating something outside of the function scope. So that is also not a pure function. And if we, if I ask you, if I do something like this, let me get it from this. And maybe here I will just again say hi and I will remove this one, right? So at this sign, my function has no dependency on outer variable. So this is a pure function. And if I do something like this, so can you tell me like is it a pure function or an impure function? Although it is not modifying my output, doesn't matter how many times I will call with this function, it will always going to return me the same output. But still this function is not a pure function because a pure function even cannot use console because console is an external API not a JavaScript method. So even if you function using console somewhere then this function is not a pure function and the last thing is even when you make any XHR or fetch call right that is also not a pure function because we are using some external sources suppose I have one variable maybe x that has some value 10 and I will create one impure function so if I do something like this x plus y, I hope now you can understand like this function is not a pure function because my impure function has a dependency on x which is not inside this function scope. So this function will become impure function. So you should make a practice of converting your impure functions to pure function as I had discussed about its advantages. So how you can convert this impure function to pure function? Because this function is using this outer variable which can modify by some global scope. So this function is not a pure function. So to convert this function to pure function, what we can do? We can do something like this. Instead of taking this x like a global variable, we can take it as an input. Right, so now when you have this pure function, you will pass it from here. So it doesn't matter how many times you will call this function, with the same input, you are going to get the same output. This is how you can convert your impure functions to pure function. So now we might have one question that can I make all functions as a pure functions? Technically, I will say yes, you can, but the application with only pure function will not do much, right? Your application program will have side effect, like you will have some HTTP call, maybe you have some input output operation, you will have some DOM manipulation and so many other things you might do in your project. So just you can do like, please make sure that you use pure function as many places as you find possible and try to isolate your impure function which have side defects as much as possible because it will improve your program readability, testability or debugging as well. So this is how you can use pure functions in JavaScript. So let me give you a recap like what are pure functions. Pure functions are those functions which are predictable. Predictable means whenever you call that function with the same input, you should get, get the same output. It should not change its output. And 
it should not have si any side effect. Side effect means if your function has a dependency on some global variable, then your function is has a dependency on some global variable. So in that case, that function is not pure. So it has side effect. If you are making some HTTP calls in the input output operation or any DOM manipulation, so these all are doing some sort of side effect to your code or to your function. So in that case, those functions are not pure functions. So I hope now you got an idea like what are pure functions and what are impure functions and why creating pure functions are important. So this is all about pure functions. I hope you like this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then take care and bye bye.